Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, uh, we'll be seeing about uh, what is named entity recognition that is NER in NLP. So, so far we have uh, discussed about what is POS tags, chunks and different things. So NER is one the uh, of the last component uh, in NLP. Thereafter we'll be doing different applications and uh, other techniques we'll be discussing. So NER is one important thing that uh, you have to uh, keep in mind when you deal with uh, NLP. So let's get started. So uh, what is this uh, NER? So uh, the first step towards uh, information extraction is that to seek and locate and classify the named entities in the context into predefined categories such as the names of persons, organizations, locations, expressions of times, quantities, monetary values, percentages, etc. So it's like whenever you read a particular uh, documentation or something online uh, for a specific topic, say uh, in the recent times you have this WhatsApp issue that is going on with privacy issues. So most of the people would search for about the history of uh, WhatsApp, uh, and its relationship with Facebook when they bought it for how many US dollars and so on. Okay, so in that uh, context, you will have different uh, names of different persons that will be coming CEO of Facebook, uh, the quantities that is the uh, monetary quantities and how much US dollars it was bought in which year and how much was the GDP and all those things. So uh, based upon the different locations, you'll get this many information. So you can actually collate these words and you can relate to one particular entity. So that is nothing but your named entity recognition. So if you are, if like uh, three persons are talking about one particular thing, then the fourth person can understand on what basis they are talking about or on what context they are talking about. Okay, so they can infer basically from uh, this different piece also of information. So that is nothing but your NER. So uh, the subtask of uh, information extraction field which is responsible for identifying entities in an unstructured text and assigning them into a list of predefined entities uh, are nothing but your basic named entity recognition. So it is as simple as that. So uh, let's move on. So uh, what are the essential steps that is uh, done inside the NER? So there are essentially two sub steps that you need to uh, keep in mind or you have to do that is named entity identification and named entity classification. Uh, meaning first we find the entities mentioned which are given inside a text. Okay, and then only we'll assign them to a particular class in our predefined set of entities. Okay, so this thing uh, will come into know when we actually do the review of this NER. So that is simple thing. So uh, what all are the steps that you need to keep in mind whenever you do the named entity recognition? So first step is like you prepare the data. Prepare the data for the parsing. So inside that you have three main uh, sub steps that you need to do that is sentence boundary segmentation. So what is the actual boundary of that sentence or the context which you are talking about? You have to first frame that thing. Then comes the word tokenization. That is the simple thing we have been doing so far in so many videos. And then POS tagging part of speech. Uh, the next step is search for the tokens from uh, whatever you did in the previous step that is uh, from the data preparation. And it will be checked against a knowledge base. Now knowledge base can be considered as some ground truth. So here in NLP context, it can be considered anything uh, with ontology, with different words, their meanings, their semantics and the relationships between them. Okay. So uh, the final step uh, in NER would be if you yield more than one search result. So it is possible like whenever you do Google search for one particular thing, uh, it's always possible. Uh, not possible like you'll get one optimal solution you'll end up with more than one optimal solutions so in that case what you do is like you go for any statistical models or statistical test to uh, check which is the best one according to you okay so that is the basic overview of the steps that is involved in NER it is very simple so uh, let's jump on to the python review for this 
okay so uh, this is uh, the basic ner uh, implementation i mean not the implementation but just the basic python review uh, why it is used and uh, we'll get to know about the basic things that we have talked in the presentation okay so first of all we'll be doing this thing with the help of a library that is a very fast processing library along uh, used with the nltk that is spacey library so uh, in spacey we'll have to load this n core web sm so that is the uh, loading of the english dictionary uh, which is used for nlp processing application so that will pass to nlp uh, then we have a fact so that fact is nothing but uh, actually i got from uh, google so uh, it's widely available like uh, when facebook united states announced its plans to acquire uh, whatsapp in february 2014 whatsapp's founders attached a purchase price of 16 billion dollars uh, 4 billion dollar in cash and 12 billion dollar Uh, remaining in facebook shares and this price tag is dwarfed by the actual price uh, facebook paid uh, that is dollar uh, 21.8 billion or dollar 55 per user okay so this thing you can actually go on google and search uh, facebook when it was uh, or whatsapp when it was bought by facebook so you will get this particular thing okay so everyone knows about this thing so this is just uh, in nlp context or in named entity recognition we have discussed about few quantities like expressions of times locations organizations quantities monetary values and percentages so uh, in order to match with that context we'll basically use this particular fact okay so then we do a, a casting of this fact into nlp and we'll put into a object that is document now for each entities in the document dot entities so this is how it is called uh, we'll just print the uh, text whatever is there or whatever it recognizes as an entity what is the organization what is the monetary value which is a country everything it will print the start character then the end character and the label so label are set of predefined things that is associated with this so the documentation you can find at this particular place that is spacey.io usage linguistic features named entities okay so once i print this thing uh, you'll get to know what we are talking about okay okay so as you can see from this pop up uh, this was our text the entire text and what the result it produces like uh, it just identified facebook and uh, its starting uh, character and the ending character that is 5 and 13 okay so that is this thing and it gave a label that is org which stands for organization and then united states uh, its starting character and ending character and gpe that is a uh, global entity or geolocational entity uh, then you have uh, whatsapp which is again an organization february 2014 it identified it as a date whatsapp again uh, occurs at 88 position and it's classified as organization dollar 16 billion so that entire thing it uh, classified as money then 12 dollar billion uh, money 4 billion dollar money facebook facebook everything okay so this is how it just does the classification so here you can look at the uh, text actually what we are uh, talking about and this particular uh, location uh, that is this one so here you can uh, actually see what is the label that is associated with it so here we have org that is for any companies agencies or institutions it will label it as org okay uh, here uh, there is a different example that they have taken and gp that is a geopolitical entity uh that is the countries states cities anything which falls under this it will be given the label as gpe then you have the money so any monetary values including the unit so this is the monetary value and the unit that is billion trillion million like that and 
in our example we got one more label that is the date okay so uh, these things are by their default in the named entity recognition so NER is nothing but uh, all of these things uh, it will basically identify the context in which you are talking uh, this particular fact and it will give out the labels as associated with it I mean only the important ones so here uh, there were many punctuations uh, were there okay and also there were many stop words but only just because of this named entity it just uh, reduced or like you didn't had to do that much pre-processing as it was required okay so well that was all regarding the named entity recognition in NLP so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are watching this video for the first time please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video